So I'm Robin, I'm a, a Brit and uh, I grew up in uh, the UK and uh, I can still remember, for example, uh, the invasion of France in the Second World War when uh, Eisenhower led the troops across the channel and part of the uh, invasion included the um, aeroplanes with gliders and the gliders flew over the channel and then the parachutists all jumped out in France and uh, they were behind where the Germans were expecting them so it was a big surprise. I must have been about uh, 44, I must have been 10 years old so I can remember it very clearly, yes. The, the air was full of throbbing um, propeller-driven planes with a glider behind them. And uh, the sky was almost black with all these planes flying towards the French uh, coast. No, we weren't scared then. We were scared in maybe 19, uh, you know, 40. I wasn't uh, in, in the UK at that time. Uh, that was when possibly the Germans were going to come the other way. <laughs> Very excited and then in the, in the newspapers the next day they had maps and I uh, cut the uh, cuttings out with the maps and so on. Oh yes, it was very, uh, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. What they called it V Day, Victory Day, and um, yes, I remember that. I w that I was having my appendix removed, <laughs> and I stepped out of uh, the hospital, and it was Victory Day. <laughs> but uh, and then later on, of course, there was V J Day which was victory over Japan. Yeah, that was very big. Uh, we had ration books and they had little coupons in them and you went to the uh, grocery store and they cut out coupons. You could get one egg a week and a little bit of chocolate maybe and a little bit of cheese and so on. And apparently they did the research afterwards. The population was healthier then than it's ever been because they designed the um, uh, rationing to give a, a balance between protein and fat and so on. And they were very healthy. So that's a, a, a big, a long time ago, but it's very vivid to me, very vivid. Now we have different wars and lots of suffering and oh yeah, yeah.